Brendan? Are we playing? Okay, so it is The Last of Us remastered. It's so, pretty. As we are painfully aware. Well, not painfully, but you know, it's like this did only come out like actually just a little over a year ago. Yeah, it's it not came that out long in ago. like June of 2013. And not enough people played it. And yeah, because yeah, there's 200 Game of the Year awards that it got. Not enough. Really no. didn't do anything no, for it. Yeah. No. So. Here we are with this game now on the PS4, running at 60 frames per second, uh, with you know uh, resed up textures and yeah. um, a few bits and pieces of extra content. Um, so what extra content does it have other than the expansion pack they've included? Or the yeah, they've included DLC. the Left Behind DLC, and they've included most of the uh, multiplayer uh, map packs that came out. Okay. But um, one of the other big things that I want to introduce right now is photo mode. Whoa, okay, so okay. I just did that. Uh, it's now in photo mode, and I can just move the camera around, and you know, it's like set up whatever picture I want. Okay. And so, like for now, we'll just get a picture of Joel. I think we need some vignetting there. We need to Instagram this stuff. Uh, vignette. Okay. We do have a vignette. Oh, okay, perfect. So, uh, how much of a vignette? What should we put on? Oh, like, uh, is that too much? That's too much. Okay. Uh, well, that's good. That's all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, film grain. Well, of course, we need film grain. Okay, film grain is, oh no, uh, that's brightness. Um, film grain is sitting at 30% right now. I think right we need now. 50. We 50? Need 50, yeah. There we go. That, that, that's what I like. Okay. Make it messy. Okay, um, brightness, let's roll the camera a little bit. <laughs> um, so what is the point of this? As, the as point amazing of this, as it is. The point of this is just for people to take, you know, whatever photos they want. It's, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mode that was actually incorporated in Infamous Second okay. Son. And it went over so well there that um, people were hoping that something like that might happen for mm -hmm. The Last of Us when it came out. And, and it, it did, okay. So now all I have to do is just do that. I can mm -hmm. save the screenshot. The screenshot is now saved. Wow. Uh, I can actually, now if I want, I can just go over to settings. Yeah. And we can check out system storage management. Just go down to the capture gallery, check out The Last of Us. Oh, there's there. Here are all the photos that I have taken so far. Okay. Just using the photo mode, and, and you know it's like yeah, even even just like looking at this or yeah. this, you know it's like you could put this on the back of a box. You really could. And it would sell the game. It's uh, these just, actually just look like the Photoshop photos they did yeah. for the PR. Yeah, but these are shots that I took just now, just using this photo mode, and I just exit, and there we're back in the game again. So what is when you go back to the uh, PS menu. Cool. Yep. Who's the guy in guitar? Oh, that's uh, Gustav uh, Santo Rale. Okay. The, uh, well, basically the guy who composed the soundtrack for okay. the game. Gustavo Santaolala. Mm. <laughs> right. Who did the amazing soundtrack, which was incredibly emotional and mm -hmm. incredibly heartbreaking when it needed to be. It was. And also quite tense. So does the game hold up to remastering? Yes, okay. it does. Okay, I mean, the big thing which you're not going to be able to tell from here is the 60 frame per second boost. Um, yeah, we're not, this video is not being presented. Yeah, I mean, the, the original game was at 30 frames per second, but that was like a really iffy 30 yeah, frames per right. second because the game was already pushing the PS3 to like its absolute it performance limit. It was like now that it's running on the PS4, it's got a lot more room to breathe. So that's why they were able to like, you know, bump up the textures. They were able to increase the frame rate. They've um, tweaked the audio. They've even got like special audio profiles now to take really? advantage of like whether you've got like a normal stereo TV or whether you've got you know, a home theater system or even whether you've got like a 7.1 headset. Oh really? They now have audio profiles that take advantage of all of these different configurations. Have you used it with your number one yeah, uh, I, I have, but unfortunately I think at this point it needs some patching. Oh. Because um, even though I have a 7.1 headset, it was not actually able to recognize it, which really confused me. But, uh, to, oh okay, now I actually have to concentrate because we've got dudes. Um, so you're saying I shouldn't bug you when we do there this. Are, there are bad people here, yeah. This particular section, it's like Ellie and Joel and a couple of friends that they've just met are trying to get out of Pittsburgh. Um, Pittsburgh has more or less been taken over by its former residents. Should we put a spoiler warning in this stuff? I don't think so, because okay. this, this one isn't actually revealing anything that's seriously plot-heavy. It's just okay. they're trying to get out of Pittsburgh, and it's been overrun by, like, many bad people. Oh, okay. yeah. So all I'm going to do is just, you know, it's like demonstrate a few of the fun things that they've got. Like that nail bomb. Messy. It's going to attract some people, I'm sure. It hey, might not attract anybody. They, they thought that was cool. They, they don't worry about explosions. They walk away from explosions. So there we go. Ellie 
is helping because she's actually a useful AI. You just hit that guy with the pipe, didn't you? Yes, I did. Okay. So, is this worth for people that already have played the game? Okay, if you're a fan of the game, like a big, big fan... Let's just say you kind of liked it. it. Okay, if you kind of liked it, then I would say probably no. Okay. You do not need to buy this game again if you only kind Come of on. like but it. But uh, EB well. right now has a deal where if you own this game, you can trade it in mm -hmm. and pay $25 and get this version. Yeah, but you know, it's like if you only kind of liked it and you don't feel the need to play it again, then... Yeah, but it's you know, pretty. You know, like, like I said, it's like, it, it is pretty, but it really depends on how much it's going to bother you to you know, have or not have that performance boost. Right, okay. Like, you know, for some people, they, they're like, you know, well... I played the story and that was enough for me and right. I don't need to go through that again. Other people, it's going to really, really bother them if they don't have that performance and, you know, that, that extra added boost to performance and they'll go, okay, I, I can't stand it, so even though I've played this game again. So now let's, let me ask you, a lot of people are jumping onto the PS PlayStation yeah. bandwagon you know, this four, yeah. and they only had Xboxes before. Do they, they need to buy this they game? They need to buy this okay. game. Anybody that has not played this game before absolutely should go out and buy this game immediately because okay. there's a reason it got 200 game of the year awards and I mean, almost like ours it's, it's so good well no i mean it, it also got our game of the year Shared award it just shared the spotlight <laughs> with you know, grand theft auto 5 which is also coming out yeah, which is also coming out so you know it's like hey you can buy them both twice <laughs> but um so i have to say the, the visuals in this game do look stunning like, yeah they've really ramped up what's going on here like it's, the textures are just yeah, so it's, sharp. It's, it's totally, totally amazing. I mean, it's like, you know, even the um, pre rendered cutscenes, yeah. which they didn't have to go ahead and do, um, they went in and they up resed all of that. They bumped it up to like 60 frames per second as well. Wow. Uh, do, they, actually, do they actually need pre rendered cutscenes? Why don't they just do in game cutscenes? Uh, well, the pre rendered cutscenes are actually using the in game engine. Okay. It's just that, you know, whenever they've got like, you know, fast cuts to other environments or whatever, they just can't do They just anything. have like a lot of stuff doing, you know, happening yeah. because. Um, I've been are. playing this game, and I'm not going to say that it's an absolutely perfect rock-solid 60 frames per second. There have been a few very, very rare instances where when things get seriously, seriously Welcome busy... Okay, this is one of the pre-rendered yeah. 60 frames per second cutscenes. Um, but yeah, there have been a few instances where in really, really hectic combat with a lot of stuff happening, and me throwing Molotovs left, right, and center, I've seen the frame rate drop very slightly. Right. You know, maybe like 50 or 45 frames per second, but nothing below 45. No, no it's way. never gone below that. Let me ask you this. Because they've just announced the... Um, is it Sam Remy is doing the Last of Us movie? Is that who's working on it? that's who's working on it. Oh, that could be an interesting choice. I believe choice. that's what we, Don't quote me on that, okay. but I believe Bruce Campbell's slate has been in as well, so I'm guessing Sam... Was He's not going to be Joel, is he? No, no, no. He can't be Joel. <laughs> um, that would but, make me sad. Yeah. But, and yeah, morbidly curious. Yeah, a little bit weird. Uh, my question is, does that need to exist with uh, the game looking this good? Because this game already almost looks like a movie. Well, it'll be a different experience, and I guess they can... They can do, well, uh, they can obviously do more dramatic scenes since yeah. they have to keep them to a minimum for a game. Otherwise, yeah. people would have been bitching and complaining. Um, I don't think that it needs to be made, but as long as they don't screw it up, I'm yeah. not opposed to it. But, of course, that's a big if. Right. Is, you know, yeah, whether or not they actually do mess it up. Uh, now we've got so you're optimistic? No. Okay. Actually, no. Because, if know, it's well, Sam Remy doing it, are you optimistic? If it's Sam Raimi doing it, I'm curious, but I don't necessarily think that that guarantees that the movie is going to be incredible. If Bruce Campbell plays every role in the movie, does that make it better? It doesn't make it better, but it does make it awesome. And there's a difference between better and awesome. Fair enough. So, are we getting any parts that might spoil things for people? No, we are not. No, okay. I've, I've been very, very careful to select a scene that's not necessarily going to spoil anything for okay. anybody. This is kind of a side thing that doesn't really... It's, I mean, it is part of the main story, but it's it's not a part of the main story with any absolutely critical uh, plot mm -hmm. points. This is actually really more just pure gameplay. Like in this well, section, you, we've you got do, a bit of stealth here. Well, you don't also do see some things with Ellie and how Ellie grows in this section. I remember that. Uh, not for a while yet. No, it's um, at the end of the section. Yeah, it's, it's at the end of the section, but this this section, this is just pure stealth gameplay. That's okay. all. It's like you've got guys with a searchlight. You're trying to get past them. That's not a spoiler. No. Not really going to spoil anything there. Uh, oh, they were shooting at clickers back there. Okay, okay. that's why they. So there still are some clickers going on. A little bit. Yeah, I'm just stumbling around over there. I'm just going to wait for this light to swing by. 
Oh, it's coming back, it's coming back. Yeah, they spotted us. Find yeah. something to hide behind. Was it? Yeah, okay. They spotted you. I got you. Uh, you did now. Well, I think it'll be alright. And this is what difficult is to set up. Uh, right now, so as not to keep down repeatedly on playing this on normal. Okay. Or easy. This game is hard. It is a very, very hard game, yeah. I mean, so Even on normal, you, this game's hard. When you play it on the higher difficulty levels, it actually... Um, I will stop distracting you as you try to do this section. Which, apparently, everyone on Earth wants to kill Watch my back! And you're on fire. Somebody threw a Molotov at me and I died anyway. Should we end it there? Yeah, maybe we should. I mean, we don't want to... This is a very highly story-based game. Yeah, it we is. We want to make sure we don't okay. go too far. So, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. But, I mean, that should give you a taste, if not of the 50 frames per second, at least the increased resolution. Is it 50? 50 frames? 60. 60 frames per I second. I mean, weird yeah. frames per second is 50. Yeah, no, it, it, gives, it gives you an idea of the increased resolution, um, mm -hmm. the photo mode, you know, it's like um, the, all the other neat little things that they've thrown in. Yeah. But, yeah, maybe we should leave it at that because, yeah, you don't really want to spoil the game. And if I play further, it, it actually is going to get into some pretty plot heavy stuff okay. so that's the last of us and i'm wayne and this is brendan and we'll see you guys around bye